एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल बुक ऑफ साइंस टुडे आई एम टीचिंग अबाउट नाइन्थ क्लास फिजिक्स थर्ड चैप्टर द लॉस ऑफ मोशन ए बॉल इज थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ ए टवर विद एन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ 19.6 मीटर पर सेकंड सो द बॉल रीचेस द ग्राउंड आफ्टर फाइव सेकेंड्स कैलकुलेट द हाइट ऑफ द टवर सेकेंड वन द वेलासिटी ऑफ द बॉल ऑन रीचिंग द ग्राउंड सो जी ईक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर फर्स्ट ऑफ आल वील लर्न द सिंपल डायग्राम ए बॉल इज थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द टवर सो दिस इज द बिल्डिंग सो दिस इज द बिल्डिंग ए बॉल इज थ्रोन फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द टवर थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स आफ्टर देन द बॉल रीचस द ग्राउंड आफ्टर फाइव सेकंड्स सो ए बॉल थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड्स एंड द टाइम टेक्स टू रीच द ग्राउंड फाइव सेकंड्स सो टोटल टाइम दे गिव फाइव सेकंड्स सो दे गिव फाइव सेकंड्स सो वी फाइंड द टी वन एंड टी टू सो दिस इज नेक्स्ट वन हियर इन दिस द हाइट ऑफ द टवर सो वाट डिड दे आस्क the height of the tower so height of the tower is for example this is x and we find the this h so total distance the stone travels means h plus x so this diagram is very important this is the tower height equal to x and the ball thrown vertically upside the height equal to h so the total distance equal to h plus x so this is the concept so first of all a ball is thrown vertically upwards from the tower so we know that here v equal to 0 the initial velocity they give 19.6 so we find uh, the ball reaches the ground after 5 seconds so they give t t equal to 5 seconds it means t1 plus t2 5 seconds so we find first one t1 first of all we find t1 after then we find h so here in this so opposite direction so we use v equal to u minus gt so v equal to 0 u 19.6 minus 9.8 t1 so t1 equal to 2 seconds so we know that total time equal to 5 seconds so t1 equal to here from this t1 equal to 5 t1 we find the 2 seconds total time equal to 5 seconds so t2 equal to 3 so 5 minus 2 3 so t1 equal to 2 seconds t2 equal to 3 seconds t1 means upside direction t2 equal to downside direction so t equal to 5 seconds so here clear this next one the height of the tower already we find t1 so first of all we find the h value so h value means v square u equal to 19.6 and 2 into 9.8 into h so h equal to 19.6 meters so h also 19.6 meters so here in this we find in the upside direction we find t1 h value so now we find the x value what did they ask the height of the tower so height of the tower is x so the remaining stone is the distance is h we find the h so s equal to ut plus half gt square why because this is in the downward direction touch the ground so the total the total distance s equal to ut plus half gt square so here in this s means total x plus h so x plus h equal to u equal to 0 half g t square means in the downward direction t2 we know that 3 seconds so we take 3 so x plus h we had already find 19.6 and this one is x equal to 24.5 meters. So, height of the tower x equal to 24.5 meters. Next one, what did they ask? The velocity of the ball on reaching the ground means they ask 
final velocity so v equal to v equal to u plus gt so we know that u equal to 0 9.8 t equal to in the downward direction t2 equal to 3 so answer equal to 29.4 meter per second so in this concept this is the ground this is tower height equal to x and the ball thrown vertically upside this distance h equal to we had already found 19.6 the total distance travel means x plus h so in the question they asked only the tower height only they asked the tower height i think you are understanding this problem with the simple diagrams and formulas thank you everyone please subscribe to my channel